Aloha, friends and family. Welcome to Frumpy Friday. It's not Friday, but I'm frumpy enough to turn any day into an F day. Frump. Yeah. So I, I think what happened is I frumped just a little too hard at the lake yesterday. No, 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 no. Not not inebriated. Just frumped super hard. And it frumped me up. I did actually go out in public like this already. Hillary needed me to go try and pick up some milk, which didn't happen because they were out. And I also had to go to the post office to pick up a package from somebody. My buddy Dan sent me something, but it was too big for the post office box and the regular part of the post office wasn't open yet so i'm gonna have to go get it later dan but i promise when i do get it i will open it on camera i promise also we're saying goodbye to some snakes like particularly uh garrett snakes because garrett's actually going to be here tomorrow to help set up for carpet fest i wanted to say goodbye before he gets here because he's going to get here and it's going to be like Huge servings of humble pie, because if you guys know Garrett, he's super humble. And not only that, but then he, he super humbly humbly humbles me, because uh, he's going to show me how to handle the pie retake in a way that's not idiotic, or shows my complete lack of experience or, or ability. So it's going to be a big humbling day. So I want to say goodbye to the snakes before he gets here, so he doesn't interrupt me with all his... Uh, expertise and knowledge. And you know, before we get that girl out of her big shed down there, I'd like to talk about something real quick. And that's the fact that I was brave enough to go out into public like this. Comment down below if you think I deserve an award for being brave enough to go out into public and face the reality and the real world in my frumpy state. I know that sounds maybe a little bit ridiculous, but you know, it's 2019 and people get awards for all kinds of ridiculous shit these days. So one more thing I promise before we get the big snake out. There's a boy who watches this channel and it's his birthday today and his one request for his birthday was that he get to talk to me. So I'm gonna call him up, sing him happy birthday and we're gonna have a little chat. Happy birthday to you. What's up bud, happy birthday man. Hi Casco. How you doing bro? Good. You having a good day so far? Right on, man. You guys doing anything special for your day? Yeah. What are you guys going to do? This. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me, man. <laughs> I'm 11 today. 11? That's, that's big. Oh, you're moving up in the world, dude. You're about to become a big man. I'm going to put this on the video if you don't mind. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Right on, dude. Yeah, I figured it'd be double, double win to get... Get the uh, phone call, the song, and then even go on the video too. That should be, if you like it, if you want to do it, then I'll, I'll put it up there, man. As yeah, I want to do that. All right, cool. Well, we're doing it then. You're on there. You got, you want anything, you want to say anything to everybody for your birthday? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to point out the fact that I, I recorded that so you guys could see how awesome I am and uh, convince you all that I'm really cool, kind, and caring, even though we all know that deep down in my heart, I'm really just a big, selfish frump hole. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> I, know, I know that you think that stupid is a bad word, and it's, uh, you're right, you're right. Kids, I, I bleep out all the four-letter words and put little other words over them because I want Mommy and Daddy to let you still watch my videos, even though Uncle Brian is a huge potty mouth. But I think that it's important for me to show you how not to be through example. So I want you guys to make me one big promise. Since your mom and dad were nice enough to let you watch this video, Uncle Brian's gonna ask you guys to please, please not speak or do what Uncle Brian does because mommy and daddy are gonna get very mad at Uncle Brian and we don't want that because Uncle Brian is very sensitive and it hurts him when mommy and daddy get mad at him. Okay, thanks. Now I'm gonna cry. Ah, this frumpy outfit is getting Frumping hot. One of my favorite times to show a snake is right after they shed anyway. So she just had a shed and her name her name is Carrot. She's coming out. All the kids named all of Garrett's snakes Carrot. She's gonna come out in a minute. We're gonna let her come out by herself. You gonna come see me or am I freaking you out? Frump with me, frump with me, frump with me. Come on, dude. I went out in public like this. You've got a fresh set of skin on. You can come out in all your beauty. You could be beauty, I could be frumpy. Frumpy and beauty together. Come on, you can do it. She usually comes right out. 
My frumpiness has scared her into staying in the enclosure. I guess now you know how all those people at the post office felt. Fly! Freaking flapping, flooping. All right, well, while you sit up there, I'm gonna get all your stuff out, okay? You need some fresh water. Desperately need fresh water. Well, while we're waiting for that snake to come out of her cage, I thought it'd be fun to bring Roxanne outside and just let her run around a little bit. Uh, speaking of other names of animals, uh, the tortoises. I decided to side with Hillary on Hal for one of the tortoises because somebody left a comment that I thought was, was a very good point about having an educational animal named after uh, an alcohol. I thought that was a really good point actually. So we're going with Hal. It's Hal and Charlie. Those are our two tortoise names. And uh, here's Roxanne in all her stunning glory. Uh, some people also recommended to, to trim her nails. So I think I'll probably, you know, shave them down a little bit. Brandon said he never really trimmed her nails, but I think it could definitely be a benefit to me. I did clean all the little stuck shed off of her little toesies. And I think she really appreciated that. We had a little bonding moment. Now she's not trying to climb up with me. She's just chilling on me like a little baby. Huh, we're cool now, huh? We're getting tight. We're getting tighter by the day, aren't we? We're gonna be big homies by the end of it. <laughs> that tongue, man. The tongue is just so freaking cool. Look at that thing. How'd you get such a cool tongue? Why can't my tongue be that cool? What are you gonna do under there? <sighs> you can't go underneath my head, dong dong. <laughs> freaking awesome, man. Are you going to burrow underneath my shoulder? That's fine. What are you eating under there? Anyway, this video is supposed to be about saying goodbye to some snakes. Come on, Brian. I figured this is right about where she was at this point. I just wanted to come in and make sure she doesn't start climbing into the racks and stuff because she's not as easy as Halo. Why couldn't all your snakes be this nice, Garrett? Again, with the tail hanging, these snakes. want a tight dark space it's all they want it's all they care about a little food little water and tight dark space look at you ma you want to go say bye to snakeys too okay let's go say bye can you say bye bye snakeys over here over here see over here can you come say bye bye say bye bye snakeys yeah. say bye bye snakey
Tschüss. Bye bye. Daddy went back down to the post office and got got the big package that curiosity got the better of me. So I felt like I needed to frump on back down there and get my frump on and frump with this package. Leave a comment down below for every time I've said frump today. Can you count? Start the video over. See how many times I said frump? Whoever gets it right, I'm sending you a free sample of the Kirker Blocks. That's like, we've done two of these already this week. That's, that's, that's like, woohoo. Oh, by the way, congratulations to our last winner on the respect comment with the Coco Blocks. You know who you are. Thank you very much. You guys all have, actually, to be fair, left some really good comments, but there can only be one winner on these things, people. One winner per video. I'm sorry. Only one. Somebody, somebody else will get a chance, though, as soon as you go back and count all those frumps. <laughs> I don't really don't know. There's, there might be more to come. There's, what the... Oh my gosh, from Mr. Dan Hitchcock, we've got a bug salt freaking, but dude, dude, the, the, the flies have really just been driving me insane in here. This thing is freaking perfect, dude. A bug assault gun, so I just, we gotta try it out. Hello. Can you send the boys down here real quick, please? No. I think we need salt, though. I will look for some salt. What do you know? I know. Salt. What about salt? That it has a mineral in it and it comes with soda and that's what I know. <laughs> you got the salt? Yeah. Alright, bring it over here, bud. Alright. There you go. All right, let's go test it on some flies. Flies, homes. I don't even see any flies. There's usually like 700 flies right out here in the garage. There's literally none. No, do you see any flies? No. So it doesn't even hurt the leaf. It's just for flies. Let's see here. Ow! Well, yeah, okay, it shoots. You want to test it on your hand? I'm going to test it on the paper towel. No, testing on paper towel is boring. No, we don't use it on spiders. We use it on the flies. We don't. We like the spiders. We don't like the flies. <laughs> hey Noah. What? What do you know? I know. High radiation. Hibernation. High radiation. High radiation. Yeah. What about high radiation? That it's what Godzilla. Eyes and in Godzilla movies, there's a lot of it. Yeah? Yeah, and um, that's all I know. <laughs> How would I try shooting your butt with it? Try, what? How would I try shooting your butt with it? I'm sure it'll come in handy for the use it was intended for at some point. How bad was that? It hurt kind of, but uh, it really hurt. Alex? We still got, we, we, I had Leia say goodbye to Grumpy and the other snake who were not, I'm sorry Grumpy, but you know what? I'm going to be like 100% honest with you. I'm not going to miss you that much, girl. I'm really not. I'm so sorry. Kind of. We had some good times. Garrett will be here tomorrow. Bye. I got four of Garrett's snakes here actually. You got Grumpy and Carrot in there together and then of course the other carrot. There's a third carrot and I fed that carrot a nice big rabbit so when Garrett gets here maybe she'll poop on him. <laughs> You'll just have to tune tomorrow and see. In the meantime I'm gonna frump over here while these guys are all frumping over there because I got lots of other things to do today besides just frump around so I need to make those things happen. Right, Eli? Yeah, but I'm trying to shoot it. Here, you need me to help. Alright. <laughs> Aloha. <clears throat> 
just for the record, I have heard from experts on the subject that people that don't crash their drones aren't flying them hard enough to get really awesome footage.